Good morning, people. Watch him at 65, Lisa Boyce. Um, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. That's the gospel in which you're saved. The only requirement in this dispensation is believing that. He did that for you and your, for your sins. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. You add works to it, you add yourself to it, it's boasting and it's works, and vice versa. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the key word, believe. When you believe in Christ, when you accept him as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. It's only one baptism. It's not water baptism. It's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And that happens the moment you accept Christ as Savior. That's when that happens. It's not a second indwelling because the Bible doesn't support that. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. He changes you. And he leads you into all righteousness. That's what happens when you get saved. You are sealed. He seals you until the day of redemption. Which means you won't lose your salvation. Uh, I'm pressed for time, so I have to get this video out. But this just came out on um, the Telegraph. Record-breaking heat wave in the U.S., Northwest, and Canada is causing the largest glacier melt in Washington State in over a hundred years. God is trying to get your attention. Seriously. It says the record-breaking heat wave in the U.S. Uh, northeast or northwest in Canada is causing what's thought to be the biggest glacier melt in Washington State in a century. Milky, sandy water has been reported running into the Pugent Sound in an inlet in the Pacific Ocean. Scientists say it could be rocks and minerals from melting glaciers. A heat wave with temperatures of nearly 50 degrees Celsius, which is 122 degrees Fahrenheit, is believed to have killed hundreds of people since last week. And out of all places, Western Canada. My mouth dropped when I read this. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Along with the U.S. states of Oregon and Washington. Now, I could say a few things about this, but I'll let you figure it out. The extreme heat wave is caused by a heat dome of high pressure over the region, which is being made more intense by... Now, if you believe this, if you believe this, then you're just as... Uh, <clears throat> I got some oceanfront property. This time I have it in Arizona that you can have for free. It says that this is being made intense by human-driven climate cr uh, crisis. University of Washington assistant researcher or research professor of glaciers and climate, T.J. Fudge, told the state's uh, news agency the extreme conditions were also causing the biggest glacier melt in the state in about 100 years. Hmm. Snow and ice on Washington's iconic Mount Rainier. I'm sweating, sorry. The most... Uh, Glaciatic peak in the, in the uh, contagious USA is likewise melting. This is not climate change. This is God trying to get the attention of everybody because something's about to happen to this earth. I had said this weeks ago that this nation, this entire world is being grounded for the Antichrist. And that's what's happening, even with the weather. It is a big deal, and I mean, we've been losing glaciers a lot lately due to, they want to say climate change or whatever it is, but to have them go this rapidly is really quite scary. I'm going to link this article in the description box. I basically wanted to come on before I, I have an errand to run. I basically wanted to come on 
before I left to give you the gospel and to get you to realize that everything that's happening is not a coincidence. It is God's hand in everything because the restrainer is about to leave here. And this earth is being, is prime for the Antichrist. So I wanted to get that out of there. And I will be back with the next video later. Thank you.